Hello everyone, it's April 20th, a bright spring day here in Seoul. I'm Sun Ji A, and these are your top stories. South Korea's foreign ministry said it will provide more than $150,000 to support overseas Korean associations around the world tackle rising hate crimes against Asians. The ministry through the Overseas Koreans Foundation will provide this support to 33 groups in six countries. In a statement, the ministry said the money will be used to help the groups build networks with other Asian communities, offer education and seminars against hate crimes, and support the Korean communities as they form anti-hate crime task forces. The foreign ministry also hoped this move would strengthen the relationship between such organizations and Korea. The move follows a sharp rise in anti-Asian hate crimes in the United States. A recent study showed such crimes rose by 150% last year in 16 of the biggest cities in the U.S. In March, four women of Korean descent were killed in a shooting in Atlanta, which many describe as a hate crime. South Korea's state-run Institute for National Security Strategy says North Korea is likely to increase cyber attacks against financial institutions and think tanks in South Korea, the United States, and other countries. In a security report, the institute points out that as the North's economic difficulties worsen due to COVID-19 and the prolonged trade sanctions, its leader Kim Jong-un would be inclined to utilize cyber attacks as a means of survival. The report says North Korea is expected to use cyber attacks on financial institutions and cryptocurrency exchanges across the globe to raise foreign currency. However, the report also says such moves could backfire, pushing the Biden administration to take more aggressive measures against the heightened cyber threat, even mentioning possibilities such as a surgical strike by U.S. using drones to target specific North Korean facilities. Soon, BTS fans in nearly 50 countries spanning six continents, including Korea and the United States, will be able to enjoy a McDonald's meal named after the iconic band. McDonald's announced that the BTS meal will hit U.S. outlets on May 26, comprised of a 10-piece chicken McNuggets, medium fries, and medium Coke, complete with sweet chili and Cajun dipping sauces. The two sauces were inspired by popular recipes from McDonald's shops in Korea. The band's label, Big Hit Music, said in a statement that they were excited about this collaboration and can't wait to share the BTS meal with the world. McDonald's also expressed their excitement, saying BTS truly lights up the world stage, uniting people across the globe through their music. The statement also said they were excited to bring customers even closer to their beloved band through delicious food. And those were your top stories. Stay safe, everyone, and remember to subscribe to Korea Now. Sun Ji out.